takes this day's daily dose of awesome. Uh, your 15 minutes of daily motivation, inspiration, education, so you can get started right. Uh, to, I'm Fernie Ceballos. I'll be your host and your trainer for today. Today's topic, let me pull it up because it actually went away. Uh, today's topic is how to build online and whether you should use free strategies or paid strategies. So building online with free strategies or paid strategies. like That's like the, the number one uh, question that people have on their minds. There's people on the internet, trainers, uh, training on, on lead generation strategies using advertising. Other, other trainers are using uh, you know, lead generation strategies using active prospecting. Some trainers are recommending uh, passive strategies that are free, such as Facebook Live, Periscopes, etc. Which one do you start with, especially if you've already you know, undertaken some of, the, some of these and haven't gotten results? Now, my name is Fernie Ceballos. I'm a lead generation and online marketing expert. Uh, specializing in helping home business owners. That includes network marketers, direct sellers, affiliate marketers, and internet marketers multiply their incomes using the internet. Now, why am I addressing this? Well, uh, I, it's interesting. I had a conversation with one of our longtime uh, mentees, you know, longtime students, Kate McShay, who's absolutely right now rocking it in her business online. And so Kate actually started in our mentorship program here at Elite Marketing Pro. And uh, let me just open my phone real quick here to make sure I can actually uh, see your questions. Cool, there you go. What's up guys? Make sure I can actually. All right. So, uh, and uh, by the way, I encourage you to ask questions as I, as I go through this because uh, it's not going to be as cut and dry as black and white as you may think. You think, you know, Fernie teaches Facebook advertising. You know, he's going to clearly say that paid is the way to go. Um, not necessarily. And so I want to actually answer questions based on your specific situation. So anyway, so I was talking to Kate McShay. And uh, and so we were talking about, you know, we're commenting on various coaching programs that are out there, various approaches and, and strategies for coaching people that are wanting to build their business online, specifically, you know, a lot of home business owners, network marketers, direct sellers, affiliate marketers. And so what's up, Cynthia? How's it going? And so we pretty much, uh, uh, you know, we were commenting that some of the strategies that are being taught worked for the trainer. They worked for the mentor because of certain things that were in place uh, in their lives. But when they're taught, when they're taught to somebody else who is in a, under a different circumstances and they have different skill sets, etc., it, it doesn't seem to be working very well, and um, and that's where we kind of fall into this debate: uh, free versus paid. Because if a certain mentor or a certain leader pretty much exclusively used free marketing strategies in order to gain their notoriety and their success, it's like okay, well, that's what they did, so they're just going to teach that. Um, but it's not accounting for the circumstance that that particular mentor was when they got started. Um, and so let, let me let me give you an example. Uh, when I got started on the internet, when I got started, I initially actually started with paid advertising, um, got my initial success, and then I started moving away from paid advertising and started exploring free strategies such as SEO. And then uh, I got really good at SEO and so did my partner. And um, But really good, you know, was really relative. Um, you know, when we're doing SEO, we're generating between maybe, uh, you know, 10 to 20 leads a day. Uh, that's on the high side. It was more in the single figures. And so what it forced me to do is actually it forced me to actually cultivate a really close relationship with my email list, with the people that were coming in. As I was generating leads uh, through my website that was being ranked on Google for various terms, um, you know, it forced me to basically cultivate a, a really solid relationship. So I emailed people solid value, I just poured love on them, created videos for them, etc. And that kind of fostered that relationship. And, and before you knew it, I had a, a very solid list of a, of a couple thousand people, not a very big list, but it was a very solid list of people that knew, liked and trusted me. Therefore, it allowed me to like, you know, make some some head, headlines and headway in certain promotions and affiliate contests. And that got the attention of other marketers, etc. So that was a free strategy that I deployed, but the interesting thing is, is I initially started with paid because I knew that I needed results, and so uh, if I had initially started with the free strategies, 
um, I would not have, you know, I, I don't think I would have gotten the results, therefore not have that credibility to follow up with it. When I went online, I was a good recruiter for my network marketing business, but I didn't know how to teach it. I didn't know how to teach what I knew. And so I pretty much started from zero. And I, I couldn't pretty, uh, you know, today what's being taught is a little different than what was available back then. But essentially, uh, free and paid strategies kind of boil down to a few things. There's active prospecting. Uh, for, so that's a free strategy, active prospecting. That, that gets you leads fast. It's not scalable. Uh, that's the problem with it. So you can get leads fast, but it's not scalable. It is time intensive. Um, and it does require you to develop a skill set, a sales skill set. So prospecting is sales, uh, contrary to what anyone else tells you. So can you make a good income doing active prospecting? Yes. Are you going to generate tons of leads? No. You're not, you're not going to be able to scale your business beyond a certain point if you're using pro active prospecting, meaning reaching out to people through private messaging or, or you know, forming those relationships. This is, it's much like how you would do it offline where you're, you're interacting with people and fostering those relationships and at the right time, when the timing is right, uh, you present your business to them. So that's what's happening with active prospecting, but it's not scalable. It's only one of you. Now, it might be scalable if you have the if you're part of a network marketing company where you can teach the same skill sets to other and duplicate. So if, if you're those skills, if you can duplicate, then great. But that's not marketing. And so that's so active prospecting is not marketing. Now, what is the example of a free strategy that is passive marketing? So that falls into Facebook lives, periscopes and and things like that where you're actually broadcasting and, and, and trying to share value with people on the Internet. Uh, and so so that's doing it for free now you can easily convert one of those free videos into a paid strategy by you know doing sponsored posts on Facebook but I'll get to that in a second um, so passive marketing and so a lot of trainers are teaching now um, because you know what they're teaching is essentially do Facebook lives every day do periscopes every day uh, blog every day so put out content put it out there put it on social media uh, foster those relationships with the people on your uh, in, in your social circles and that's cool. Uh, there's two things that it requires. It requires a lot of discipline, consistency and perseverance, and a lot of patience. Because these passive marketing strategies that are free take time to build up. The other thing that I think they require in order for you to have success sooner rather than later is a core competency, core knowledge and experience around a certain subject. You may have noticed that there's trainers online that, that have you know what they basically have done is they've uh, you know started doing Facebook lives or started doing periscopes or started blogging every day or whatever it was and and then they, they started gaining an audience very quickly and and then before you know it they just blow up and they're like you know they're they're monsters you know they're they're and and more power to them but the reason why they attracted that audience because they already had a core competency had experience in that in that area and we're simply just sharing what they knew with people. And so uh, and so that's the, the main thing. If you are doing these FB Lives or Periscopes or whatever, and you don't have any results, you don't have any success, then you're going to have a very hard time attracting an audience because people will be able to clearly tell that you don't know what you're talking about. And so that's the reason why when I came online, remember my story, I uh, started doing paid advertising, doing PPC, because I knew it would start getting me results quickly, you know, sooner rather than later. SEO took me months, uh, uh, and actually over a year, to actually get decent at and start producing results. And now, now SEO is not even an option. That was a free strategy. Uh, but I knew that uh, doing paid advertising could quickly get me results, get me the experience that I needed in order to do two things. One create immediate income, and two, uh, actually build the knowledge base, a foundation that I can teach from, that I can pour, you know, give value from. And so, so, so when, I, when I went online initially, I, I basically plugged into a system, an affiliate system. Uh, much, actually, it, it was Elite Marketing Pro. It was, it was named Elite Marketing Pro back then, but it was the exact same system we're a part of today. And I just invested in advertising and promoted one of their funnels and that was it and I just observed what was happening I watched my advertising I watched like the ads my first ad you know didn't do so well I think I lost you know a bunch of money 
But after that, I kind of got the hang of it. And then before I knew it, I was starting to make uh, about a thousand dollars a month, uh, give or take. And I was like, that's pretty cool. Now I can actually, now I know how this works. I know how to set up an ad. I know how to follow up with these people. And now I know how to actually show somebody how I actually made, uh, you know, how I actually made, you know, a thousand dollars per month. Are you guys see me okay? Just uh, comment. Let me know if you guys can hear me. Uh, Cause someone said the, the picture's frozen, but on my phone it looks great. Oh, okay. So, all right. I think we're good. All right, we're good. Um, so, hopefully my internet holds up. Cool. Sorry, guys. All right. So, uh, so no. it's better to be temporary. All right, guys. So, so what I was saying is, is uh, I had that knowledge, that that foundation to to teach from, and so now I was able to like teach somebody. This is how we generate leads. This is how I, you know, I produce sales. This is how I was able to make an, an extra thousand dollars per month. And then now, now I had that experience. Now I can do, you know, a lot of free strategies. I can do videos. I can do, uh, you know, other, other, I think I'm getting interrupted, hopefully. Sorry, guys. Okay. Apologies. So let's see. So now I was able to actually teach from a foundation and therefore I can pretty much do videos. I can do other things to foster relationships on social media, etc. And that gave me credibility and that, that allowed people to want to actually pay attention to me. So uh, whether it, you know, so the, the debate about whether free versus paid, well, you got to know the pros and cons of, of each. If you do an active prospecting, you have to know that, that you're very limited. There's a ceiling to that. There's only so far you can go with active prospecting. And, uh, and it's very time intensive. And usually the people that are doing active prospecting on social media are the, are the very loud people. Uh, you know, so uh, I'm not a loud person. So uh, you know, because I don't need to be. I, I can do, uh, I can perform at a at a higher level than people that are that are using those active prospecting strategies because I know how to how to do active paid. Uh, I mean, passive paid marketing uh, to generate hundreds of leads per day. And so I've moved beyond active prospecting. In fact, I never did active prospecting beyond uh, doing it outside. Passive marketing, the free stuff like FB Lives, Periscopes, etc., uh, all that stuff takes a lot of time. You're going to need to be in it for the long haul. And so a lot of people tend, uh, point to Gary Vaynerchuk as an example of somebody that built something from nothing uh, with regards to social media. That's not true. Gary had a core competency with his first online business. He had a, one, he had already had a multi million dollar business because he inherited that from his father, which was their, their liquor business. And two, he knew a lot about wines. So he took that core competency, that core knowledge, and created an online show, started doing video blogs every day, and slowly but surely started gaining an, uh, gaining an, uh, an audience. Uh, and then he did a lot of active prospecting by reaching out to people uh, through private messaging and basically uh, offering his help on the, on the topic of wine. And so he gained an audience one by one, one by one. Or you know it, he became the phenomenon he is today. That is how you actually do free passive marketing. You have to be in it for the long haul and have a lot of patience. Uh, so let me know, guys, if you guys can still hear me. Uh, you know, comment. Please place a comment here. And so, uh, otherwise, I'm just talking to the air. Uh, so, so that's that was Gary's situation. So, a lot of people that are coming online don't have uh, that core competency you know they're they're wanting to go in the home business arena or network marketing uh and okay awesome cynthia thank you so much so they want to go in the, the online uh the home business arena whether it's online marketing or network marketing whatever but they don't know anything and then they're told you should blog every day or you should do a periscope every day you should do a fb live every day you should do a video every day whatever but what are they going to do the video on like it's 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 kind of like silly that you're asking somebody that has very little knowledge and no experience and no results to be teaching other people stuff that they're not even really sure about yet. And so what I, that's why when we, when we bring people into Elite Marketing Pro, we take them through a process that gets them results, gets them leads and, and even sales within the first two weeks. That's the intention of the process. Now, uh, it can happen sooner. 
it can happen a little later. But the point is we have that process that's already in place to get people results quickly because when somebody gets a result, when somebody actually takes action and gets a result, they now have that skill set. They know how they acquired that result. When I, when I was making $1,000 per month, I knew how I was doing that. And now that was something I can teach to other people. I can share, this is how I'm doing it. This is where I learned it from. And this is how I'm, you know, what I'm doing maybe a little differently or adding my own flair to it. And then, and I can say those things with confidence without having to do the whole, you know, fake it till you make it thing. And so that's really the, the gist of this, this, this uh, training today. Uh, when it comes to free versus paid, free becomes a great option a, if you are broke and have no money, I recommend active prospecting in the beginning. But if you have some some you know dollars to rub together and are willing to invest uh, at least ten dollars per day in, in in advertising and lead generation, then I highly recommend using paid 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 marketing. Now, if you already have a core competency uh, in in some field and area, and that's the area you want to go into and become an expert and a and a and a leader in, then you know, definitely I recommend using passive marketing, FB Lives, blogging, Periscopes to deliver that value to the audience that is there waiting for it. But when here's here's my message though. It doesn't have to be a battle of either or. You can do the 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 passive marketing, the passive free strategies and the paid at the same time. When you combine them, when you combine them and do them in conjunction and support of each other, you can create a monster business. And that's essentially the core of what, what, what I'm, I want to teach today. One of our members recently, he's been, an active, uh, he's been an active prospector and pretty much gets literally gets a lead a day. One lead per day on average. That's what he gets doing active, active prospecting on social media. Yet he's been able to make uh, close to six figures over the past uh, a year. You know, one lead per day making six figures over the past year. Why? Because he, he, he forms such a solid relationship with every single lead that comes in, he reaches out to them. He sends them a, 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 a message on social media. So he forms such a solid relationship and takes care and, and creates a community, you know, for those like a few dozen people that he actually has, has managed to make a, a full-time income from a very tiny group of people that he's brought in. But what I kept telling him, and, and basically I had to pretty much, uh, you know, slap, smack him around a little bit because he was limiting himself because he, he couldn't grow beyond that small group and he, and he actually, his income was capped and now he's worried about, you know, paying certain bills because, you know, he's, you know, now all of a sudden he has money as he enjoying the good life and all of a sudden uh, he's broke again. And so I, I had to basically check him and go, dude, if you actually did everything you currently do and you incorporated paid marketing, where instead of generating one lead per day, you're generating 10 to 20 leads per day, how big would your business grow if you're if you're still doing the fostering of relationships that you're currently doing but rather than doing with one person you do it with 10 10 or 20 people per day how quickly would your business explode from a financial standpoint and and it got him thinking and pretty much it was the breakthrough that he needed how could he make more money because what he was doing is actually he was joining a bunch of different programs and taking those same people and taking them to different programs which uh you know it's is you're not serving anybody you're just serving yourself if you're just like prospecting and, and recruiting the same people to different programs so now what he's doing is actually you know he just started doing uh paid strategies he's generating multiple leads per day now and we'll see how that goes but you know that's the power of paid strategy when you combine it with the things you're forced to do in the in the free realm where you foster relationships pour value on people uh create community and you combine it with the scalability scalability of paid strategies that allow you to pretty much grow as much as you want, you become a force to be reckoned with. So that's my message. It's not an issue of free versus paid. It's an issue of where you're at when you start, what are your resources, what are your core competencies, and ultimately what you want to do is you want to bring the best of both worlds together and, and create a community that can grow uh, indefinitely and as big as you want it. So. That's my lesson for today, guys. I know we had some technical issues where we were cutting out in the middle, but I hope you got value. I hope this offers some perspective. And I know there's a, there's a huge delay because I'm actually getting comments about things I mentioned like you know two minutes later. So 
Uh, that's it for today. We'll you know continue the conversation, ask questions with regards to what I just shared, and I'll, I'll do my best to answer. Take care, everybody.